So we start the installation in Win 10. This is my Windows uh, 10 evaluation machine, you know, in whatever version you actually have. Uh, and you need to download the .NET software. And it should look something like this. The, the latest version at the moment of this video is 4.8. And you install that. The installation is trivial. You take the defaults and it gets installed. I already did this in mind. Uh, why do you need .NET? uses a console that is a Windows component that only comes in .NET. So if you don't have that, when you invoke the WinCollect configuration console, you'll see this ugly message in the air. And that, that's an indication that you don't have the right version of uh, .NET. So again, I installed the 4.8 version of .NET and to enable the right one that you need, and you don't need to disable the 4.8, you need to enable both. You, you invoke the control panel, you go to uninstall program, you need to click in here in order to reveal the presence of 4.8. But notice that you have 3.5 as well. All you need to do is click here, click OK, and you have enabled yourself the version that you need, most likely you need to do these steps, which downloads the required files, files and pausing the video until that completes. You have the version that you need, 3.5, without you know conflicting with the latest version of it. You have both libraries enabled. Now, before I forget, I'm gonna uh, before I continue with Win Collect, I'm gonna install the Sysmon component real quickly here. So I have in my downloads folder, I have the Sysmon component that I downloaded from the Microsoft site. It's very simple to do, the 64 version because this is Win 10. And I also have that special XML filter file that is in the box folder uh, that is uh, that I mentioned uh, in the previous video. It's in, in the link of all my videos. You'll find a folder uh, for probably then the title of the folder will be Hacking Windows and you can get that XML file in. To install that, we need to open a command window. I'm pretty sure that I need to do it as an admin. I'm going to go to that directory, my download. And with that configuration file, everything is easy. All I need to do is do invoke the program and do dash i when you install it for the first time. If you upgrade or change version, do slash dash c as in configure. And then all I need to do is put the name of the file, keep tap, hit enter, accept the, the license term, and Sysmon is installed. From Curator Fix Central, I downloaded the WinCollect standalone installer as well as the patch, uh, the, the, the WinCollect 64 uh, version. Now that this has the icon that indicates that it needs to run as an admin, so I run it as an administrator, and the installation is actually very easy. We click Next, accept the license, click Next. The username I'm going to use is the same as the machine has, which is uh, Win10, oops, Win10 user. I don't need to specify an organization for my lab. That's the place where I wanted to take it. It's a standalone version, not the managed one that I'm using. I do want to create a log source. That's the purpose of these things, to be sent to curator. So the log source name is going to be like this and the log source identifier. I want it to be the same of the, my machine. So it's going to be win 10 user. That's going to be the log source. And I'm going to remove this later, but I'm going to just leave the security and system in case I don't want to uh, check that with my Curator in between. I click Next. Now the destination name is going to be the console of Curator. So you can give this whatever name you want. But uh, And the IP address of my Curator box is 172.16.60.10. Standard port 514 over TCP. And here uh, all you need to do is take all the defaults in case that you want to play with any one of those uh, parameters. Click Next. You click install and you are done. That's actually pretty easy. Now you need to install the patch installer thing 
and this all you need to do is run it you don't need to be an admin for that one you click next accept the license next again again, again I'm gonna put the same username I put before win 10 user I'm taking the defaults, so installing all those two things. Click next, click install. If you ever have problem finding in fixed centrals, and sometimes I do, finding the stuff that you want, you can go to this very nice page that these guys put together called WinCollect 101, where you get, you know, you know, support notice or whatever things are uh, of your concern and here they actually put a pointer to the actual pieces and you know it's a lot of useful information uh, on uh, WinCollect so I'm done there so these are the changes in the registry of my group policy that you need to do in order to enable the right login of PowerShell command if you don't do this then uh, you are not going to be able to detect very hidden type of attacks uh, using PowerShell. So I'm grabbing that one and I'm gonna open a command window again. Uh, pretty sure you need to do this as an admin because it's modifying the registry and you issue that command in here and then should execute oops my bad there, I didn't grab the entire line because the windows was too small. So let's try that again. And that executes without a problem. It's actually I take those two at once. paste them in here they execute no problem and if you want to check whether you did this right we put these commands to verify that you got once and an asterisk at the end indicating that the entries are put right again this is going to be part this instruction 2.txt is going to be in the folder on the public box folder so you if you want to be sure that this is done correct this is one, one, and then asterisk, so you, you said this right. Let's invoke the event viewer. Because we want to make sure that we are getting those inner PowerShell command. This is logs of PowerShell when you are within the PowerShell, not executing it externally. So that should be, again, and this is for checking, just to make sure that, that you are doing the right thing. So you go there on the Microsoft, uh, expand Microsoft, expand Windows, and there should be a PowerShell operational down here. There's PowerShell, PowerShell operational. And now let's actually invoke PowerShell. Again, you don't need to do this. This is just a way of uh, verifying. And if I do a PowerShell command within PowerShell, I want to make sure that the logs are being produced. So Sysmon is going to be able to send them to the curator box. We do get process. Let's actually go here. I didn't mean to click there. Let's actually refresh the screen and we should get a bunch of logs. And this stuff is actually working. We're getting the logs, so Sysmon will be able to send them to Curator. We will detect even attacks that are done within the PowerShell window. So we're almost done for in order to start learning these things. So we need you need to we're gonna use the event viewer to create the XML that we will use to configure the final configuration of uh, Win collect. So we click here on uh, create custom views. 
we pull down here and we expand on the Windows logs we're gonna get the security and system and on their application services log we're gonna get the PowerShell so I guess that that is on their oh actually here Windows PowerShell we we need even more than that on their Microsoft Windows we need two things in here it should be another PowerShell and this may be enabled by default uh, no it is not so we want to get PowerShell operational and we also want Sysmon that should be somewhere around here okay and Sysmon operational so we go here on the XML and we grab all those five things in that format just put it in the clipboard now we need to invoke the win collect configuration console and if we install the write.net version we should see the console if not we get that ugly message no we got that right so you go here on their devices you span here devices and you have Microsoft Windows event logs and that's remember the 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 unit that we had and because we are getting those from the XML we can even take these two out that we put before and in here there should be an XML entry you see that's the console yeah here it is and we need to paste that that XML and all we need to do is deploy the changes that is okay we're successfully done we are done with the configuration of uh, WinCollect sorry it took uh, so long but that's uh, the way of getting all details on the log so we can detect the attacks that we will be doing go to the curator system and see if these logs are actually being sent so that's the, the IP address of my, my, my machine so we can identify those in curator so I went five minutes back in the log activity tab and I see some logs in there the, I need to get enough for auto discovery to work notice that that's the IP address uh, that we were looking for and if we go to the Windows machine and issue a bunch of you know enough events for the auto discovery in Curator to work we see that we are you know getting auto discovery uh, to work as in discover the whole thing I need to investigate and there are some things that I need to do in curator still to get all this working but you see that we are identifying some of the events uh, so let me stop this video here and then we're going to do the configuration on the curator side